protectors. And so we're here because we can raise money, we can, we can talk about the issues, we can bring them forward so that you guys actually learn what's going on. Because what's going on in Standing Rock is, is not just about Standing Rock. It's about what's going on here as well. Their fight for water is our fight for water. So when they're over there and they're fighting for 18 million people's water, for clean water for 18 million people. So when you think about all of those people that are affected, why would we not want to get in and step in and help out where we can? But that doesn't stop what's going on here. Here we have indigenous people uh, in this nation, right around you, and we're fighting for clean water. And we're, our Puget Sound, our rivers, our, we're have, we have a methanol plant going up right in the middle of Tacoma right now. There's so many things that are going on, and so these events give us the chance to talk to you guys. Um, I'm actually on my third trip um, back to North Dakota. I've, I've gone over twice, taken over supplies um, with another uh, number of uh, people from Muckleshoot. Um, we've done fundraisers. Um, we've, we, we've made friendships with people at camp. And so I'm actually going back um, on the 18th just to find a way to keep contributing. But even if you can't make it over there, you can come to events like this and you can donate. You can tell other people about what's going on because at the end of the day, what's going on in North Dakota is not okay. What's happened to Native people for the last 500 years is not okay. What's happening to indigenous people around the world right now is not okay. What's happening to human beings in this world is not okay. And what's happening to Mother Earth right now is not okay. This fight is about so many other things. This is an opportunity for us to let you know that we as Native people are still here, that we're fighting for you, that this isn't just about us. This isn't just about our reservations and our lands. This is about your lands. We live in one of the most beautiful states in the country right now, but if we don't get involved in these fights, we don't get involved with keeping our water clean, we don't develop these relationships with our native communities, then we're not going to have a beautiful state to live in. And those people that are in North Dakota, if we don't keep being a part of these events and we don't keep, being, and we don't keep talking about it and we don't keep educating ourselves, then that is going to lose that fight over there because us coming together and praying and keeping it peaceful and educating people, that is gonna be the way that we're gonna fight this black snake. That is the way that this pipeline is not going to go through the Missouri River and pollute the water of 18 million people. And so again, I wanna thank the ladies for having this event tonight, but I also wanted to come up here and let you guys know about an event that I'm helping host so next weekend on Saturday from 12 to 3, we will be hosting Medicine Creek Treaty Tribes Stand with Standing Rock. And so what this event is about, this, it's going to be a march. And it will begin on 21st Avenue and Pacific Ave in downtown Tacoma. And we're going to march down toward the federal building and we're going to end up over by the University of Washington. And this is a chance for us to all come together, all nations to come together. Natives, Asians, Blacks, Whites, everybody to come together and talk about what's going on around us. But to show Standing Rock, to show Standing Rock Sioux that we are with them, that we stand with them, and that we are in this fight for clean water with them. And so again, thank you all. And my name's Rachel Heaton. And if you go on to events um, and look up Medicine Creek Treaty Tribe Stand with Standing Rock, um, we would love to have all of you a part of this event as, as well. And again, thank you for being here. Oh.